Rayleigh Small Engines folks, glad you came around. We're gonna be talking about a steel four mix today. Starter rope hard to pull to try to get that thing to start. So never fear, T-Bone is here. Y'all come on in, I'll take a look, and show you what's going on. All right, so basically we're gonna to have to remove this engine cover, air cleaner, starter, not necessarily in that order. And so we get down, this is a BR-800. Right there is where we're looking to get to, right there. So let me show you how to get this off of there. Two screws for your air cleaner. Falls right off. Pull out your L fill tray system. And we're looking, let's go ahead, we'll do these three bolts here. These you want to keep separate because they're threaded different than these other four that we're going to take out. Now I'll show you the difference. These four that'll be around this cover are different from the ones at the starter. See the difference in the threads? Fine threads, machine threads that go into metal. These other four goes into plastic and they're coarser. So pay attention to that when you take these apart. Now all I did was lay it flat down so it's easier to see. If you see right down in here, there's a screw and one more right down there and you will need a long bit to get to them. And when you take them out, they drop sometimes and a little stick on a magnet helps. Magnet on a stick, whatever. Now all we have to do is pull this cover off. So it'll just slide right off. I can't do it one handed, so hold on. Just like that, folks. Now you'll pay attention. These two rubber pieces, they mount right here and here on your fuel tank. One other thing to be careful of on the other side of the cover, there are three spacers, one, two, three, and they like to fall off. So when you're putting this on, I recommend the machine be sitting straight up and you can keep an eye on those because those have to mount in here for where your starter goes and those will need to be in place. Spark plug wire and our two kill wires. Snatch, snatch. Pay attention to where this stuff goes now. There we go. See that pulls right out. Now we're gonna need to take off a bolt down here and a bolt up here. Well, looky there, there's a valve cover. This is all with the same tool, folks. T27 and a pair of needle nose so far. Now, when we pull this off, see right there? You don't want to lose that. Because without it on there, you're going to have a leak. Let's get the spark plug out of the way. That is burning a beautiful cocoa brown that tells me that the fuel mix and the carburetor are adjusted correctly. Or fuel is mixed correctly, the carburetor is adjusted correctly. Now, here is the special tool, which is comes in a kit from Steel, and it comes with a valve cover gasket. So... You can order your valve cover gasket kit that has this tool in there, or you can make one. That looks ugly, good lord. I know it's about four thousandths. It's close to that gum enough because I measured it with that little doohickey bob thing, hitchy mo. You know what I'm talking about. All right, so we need to do this one of two ways. You can do it with one valve open and the other one closed or the actual correct way is to do this on top dead center well t-bone how do i know what is top dead center well i'm gonna show you so right on this flywheel you got a south pole and a north pole santa claus on that side and 
I don't know who's on the other side. And you can see on the edge there, see the little shiny spots there? The, that's the magnets. All right, you flip it over. See, there's nothing on that side. It says, warning. So don't use the warning side. Now, to get this on top dead center, the magnet by the coil, I'm steady moving. You're not seeing either one of these rocker arms move as I spin this. Now I'm going to go back around. All right, you see where we're at there? Now watch as I move. I'm going to back up just a little bit where you guys can see. Watch these rocker arms, and I'm going to turn this flywheel back and forth. See they're trying to go open there? See right there? See where my... See, actual top dead center is like right there, but this is not the correct stroke. So spin it around again. And actual, your piston is at the top. That flywheel is about right there on this coil. And I can prove that with a screwdriver. Sticking in the spark plug hole. Hold on a minute. So watch this screwdriver. See it down, up, right there. That is exact top. See it start to go back down? Right there is top dead center. Now you can go in and adjust your valves. So all you're gonna do is take your eight millimeter wrench and it, folks, it does not, I'm gonna back that off really, really loose, okay? And it doesn't take much. Barely move them. And what you're looking for is a little bit of drag on your feeler gauge, okay? A little bit of drag there. I backed it way off, obviously. See, right there. Now I got a little bit of drag there. I'm going to get a scunch more. Scunch. An itty bit. Let's check this one. That one already has a little bit of drag. I know that because I already adjusted these before. But I wanted to show you guys how it's done there you have it too easy now the reason this is going to make your starter rope easier to pull is because of the compression release on here these valves will open and close but they also have a bump in a valve okay i'm going to turn this flywheel and you watch those valves closely open See the little bump right there? Little bump, watch. Right there, see it? That's your compression release. Folks, even though it has valves and is set up just like a four stroke engine, there is no oil pan. You don't change the oil. Make sure you mix your gas properly. Mix your two-stroke oil and gas for this machine. So you forgot what screws go where. Valve cover takes the longest screw with the brass washer. Okay. The next two longest holds this cover on. The four coarse thread hold that cover on. And the three fine thread hold your starter on. Simple, folks. Let's get this thing put back together. <music>
pull. Choke on, pump the timer. Run like new. Appreciate you tuning into this YouTube channel. If y'all don't mind, click that subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Y'all come back to see us. I gotta go blow some leaves now that I got this done. See you next time.